Hi, this is Robert Reese on The CEO Show. We're here today with Warner Thomas, who is the CEO of Oxner Healthcare, about $5 billion total, 25,000 employees. We're here today at the Atlas Healthcare Conference, where you were one of the speakers, and you were talking about leadership in healthcare and the future. So I think we were talking about today innovation and how innovation and technology is impacting healthcare. And I think the challenge for legacy healthcare organizations is how do you embrace that change and how do you continue to push your organization? And the concept we like to think about is play to win versus play not to lose. And you know, if you think about a football game and we're all sitting there in the fourth quarter and you see a team going to prevent defense or whatnot, you know, they're playing not to lose versus throwing the ball downfield and playing to win. And you know, it's hard to do that when you've got you know, something to lose, but that's what we try to do at auctioners, play to win, put ourselves out there, challenge ourselves every day, make sure we're doing a great job taking care of our patients and being relentless about how we get better each and every day. I want to ask you, at the Atlas Conference, you also spoke about how you're using AI, and I thought that was really interesting. Yes, yeah, so we're using artificial intelligence machine learning to, be pre to do more predictive type of healthcare for our patients. So for example, we all think about patient codes that happen in hospitals where we you know, call the code, the code team comes to basically resuscitate a patient that's had a cardiac arrest at our auctioner uh, facilities. We now are using artificial intelligence to predict whether a code is going to happen or not four to five hours prior to that code ever occurring. We've seen a 44% reduction in codes on our med surge units where we're using this technology. It is simply groundbreaking and uh, amazing work that's being done, much more predictive and proactive versus reactive, which is really where we need to take all of healthcare.